Mm-hmm. What the hell is that? Reaches in like he's like, I got a chocolate bar for you. Mm-hmm. Remember, I fed you. Like I gave you last night because I apparently didn't listen when he said, don't feed you after midnight. And then he reaches <laughs> into the thing and then... Done. Cut scene, but you know what happens yeah. to him. Well, he clearly fixes the cable. Yeah. Uh, he's yeah. He eats the thing, and it's no problem. And they yeah, become yeah. the best of friends. It's all good. And they go on a road trip, and mm-hmm. that's a sequel. <laughs> I'd watch that. Mister Hanson and the Gremlin. Mm-hmm. Um, they also the ones that are in Millie's house viciously attack his mother, <laughs> and then she, <laughs> like she's fucking Sigourney <laughs> Weaver and aliens, <laughs> is just dealing with these things. No yeah. problem. She's killing these motherfuckers. Mrs. Left Peltzer's and right. a badass. Yeah. Because she immediately grabs a knife, Mm -hmm. grabs one of them, throws it into a food processor, blends that all to hell, Mm -hmm. goes psycho, fucking... Stabs stabs a motherfucker. There's also supposed to be another scene that it was supposed to... It apparently is in the background if you look when she's uh, about to microwave one of them. If you look in the back, you can see the gremlin that she stabbed trying desperately (laughs) to pull the knife out of his face. There were supposed to be a couple close-ups of that, but mm. somebody somewhere went, Oh, Jesus, no. Yeah, because this is a kid's film. Yeah. But then she blows one up in the microwave. Which, same. Ironically, that special effect done exactly the same way as they created the Mogwai. Yeah. So you just threw a balloon full and of fucking m- shit and then just n- literally nuked it. Kaboom. Yeah. And how did she kill the fourth one? Um, She chuck him in the fire, Yeah, right? yeah, the fireplace. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She chucked, like, because she... But then Strike Billy, gets a Billy helped. Room. Oh, yeah. This yeah. Is when, That's yeah. the one that was choking her. Yeah. And then he fucking boots it boots into, it into the, the fire. fire. Yeah. And then Stripe gets away. Mm-hmm. So, four dead. Yeah. Stripe's alive. And I guess the other one's alive that killed Mr. Hansen. Mm hmm. Um, so now he's just like, oh, well, fuck. We're fucked now. Uh, Stripe. But here's the thing Stripe goes into the YMCA to get mm-hmm. an army because he knows yes. if he jumps into the pool, yes. he can just create an army of gremlins. Mm hmm. There's no... we That second one that was at Mr. Hansen's. Yeah. Why was he never the second in command? Because I don't think he was ever around. Because like, he was just... I guess he was just one of the... He was just the, one of them. He was just the fucking know. lowly... I just figure if he's one of the OG gremlins, he you should... You would think he, yeah. he would have the most experience. But if we're going to talk about logic, how come the snow doesn't make more gremlins? There we go. I knew that was going to be your issue as well. That drives Throughout me fucking Throughout this entire nuts. film, uh-huh. they are running through the snow, uh-huh. and snow is water. Mm-hmm. So, because at the end of the movie, when we we're going to get there, but yeah. like, when it was just Stripe left, he could have just dived into the snow. No. Yeah. No. There's a bunch of snow banks everywhere, because they, they, you know, the, the most unluckiest theater in the world blows up later I, on. My think, my whole thing is that when they go, what did you spill on them? Just regular water. So maybe... No. No. That's their cop-out. That's no, their cop-out. Because... It's not accurate. Here's why. Where do you get your tap water from? Oh, I know. You I'm aware it, that, like... You get it from... Because I'm watching this movie thinking the same You get it the from thing. the ocean, yeah. which comes from rainwater. So in our tap water is rainwater. Rainwater is snow water. It's the exact same shit. Unless they need fluoride, which I don't even know if mm. they actually introduced in 1984... There is no but reason. This is what I'm getting at. I I have the same issue. See the whole eat thing, whatever the whole time thing, whatever. Yeah. This I agree with you on. But <laughs> at the same time, this is also going to be. It's a movie. Shut the fuck up. This one is yeah. It's, it's gonna. It's it's. I think both of them all, are the same. Out of like, all you of them, you can't. There. The logic. It just. Yeah. If you. If you read into it too much, the logic falls apart, and yeah. you can't say shit. And then you don't have a movie. So we get the whole, goes to the cops, but the cops don't believe them. Mm-hmm. One of the cops played by fucking Jonathan Banks, who's Mike from Breaking Bad. And I'm like, hey, so that's what he looks like with hair. Yeah. That's cool. Nice to know. Um, they're not in this movie much long either. No. Uh, rampage through the town. Mm-hmm. Gremlins are killing people. They kill the cops, right? Yeah, they do. Because the cops are driving. Mm-hmm. Uh, they cut their whatever, their break or their yeah. whatever, and then they flip it. And I think mm-hmm. it's established that the cops are killed. <laughs> yes. Or at least viciously hurt because they're never, you never see them again. Mm-hmm. They crash through the Fullermans using his, yes. like, uh, the, 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 his party plow? Or yeah. His party plow. His, his, his machine plow, that he, because there was a, there was a scene earlier where he was, looked like he was going to drive drunk. And, you know, when he had a snow Phoebe plow. Cates told him not to, so he was like, all right, it's it's basically like a, a snow plow slash, like, snow cat from uh, The Shining. Yeah. Like, same kind of idea. And then it established that he dies, but then we find he out later die. that he didn't die. Yeah. Because it's like, no, they called and, like, 
That was the... Because the cops were like, oh, mm-hmm. it was just a freak accident. That was the studio going, uh, ease up on the death, you've already got four, Yeah, pull one back. Plus he's in the sequel. Yeah. Uh, they kill people, fucking Mrs. Deagle is murdered. <laughs> yeah. So she's with her kitties. Yeah. And the whole, is those Christmas carolers? I'm gonna spray them with water. But mm-hmm. then it's just like, because maybe that's what they were hoping for? M- no. Well, at the same time, they they seem to be smart enough to know what a Christmas caroler is, which I don't know where that came from. How did they figure that out? Yeah, because she goes to the door and they're just, yeah, they're all dressed <laughs> up and they're, they're you know, singing the, the smoking one, smoking, you know, so I'm like, okay, that's attention to detail. And yeah, they, they know what Christmas carolers are. And then she decides she was going to spray them with water. Huh. I don't know. So she's like, not now, I can't die now, or whatever. And yeah. she gets in her chair to escape. Yeah, because she's got one of those uh, chairs that helps you up the stairs. And they mess with the wires, and she goes... It is the longest staircase <laughs> in the history of ever. And then just launched <laughs> right out the window. <laughs> that, yeah, that is the weirdest shot that drove me insane every time I've seen it. it where, like, it's clearly just like the one spiral staircase. And yet... They show her spinning and spinning and spinning. It's like the same shot. It goes repeated. on forever. It goes on. I'm like, she's got a 20 story house, and then she gets flown out. She's she fucking murked. Oh We're yeah. Done here. And then they're just like, and then they find her like Is that Mrs. Deagle. Like she's yeah. Damn. Like no, we gotta call the just like, oh, dental records in on this one. Oh well, Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, that old lady on the on the on the on the sidewalk. Yeah. Get the Rock and Ricky. Yeah. The DJ. Who we've been seeing flyer like uh, billboards for all over town. Um, one of those like you guys got to stop calling in. This Orson Welles stuff is getting too mm-hmm. old. for Rock and Ricky until the that gremlin. is actually a reference. If you yeah. don't know what that is, yeah. uh, some people may not know. Um, War of the Worlds. Uh, yeah, it was what the forties, I think. I think so. Um, they randomly decided one day to have Orson Welles read War of the Worlds on the radio. And it terrified a shit ton of people and he who played didn't know it, it was a story. He played it for serious. Yeah, well, it well, it was just supposed to be a radio play. If you listen play. to that, he like, just, yeah. original recording, he makes it sound like it's the aliens happening. are the here. The aliens are here. And we're fucked. Yeah, it was just supposed to be this great sci-fi and reading. But They like, made a movie. Yeah, they did. About a John real, Ritter was in it. No, 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 no. A, a recent movie. Oh, really? About a town that actually freaked the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah, no, that happened the, a the, lot. There was a specific yeah. town that no, like, they did. Legit they well, they a, yeah, they real. did one in 1983 that showed that, yeah. and that one had John Ritter in it. And then there was, I guess, there was another one recently, the same yeah. thing. Yeah, no, there were people who were trying to leave their town. Yeah, their towns freaked the fuck out. Like it became panic in the streets for a long period of time, and then that basically made it so that. So I appreciated the that, reference. Yeah, um, it was a great. And then move. the gremlins break in. You think he's di- he dies because mm-hmm. it's like, oh no no. And, but yeah. he's okay because again, I guess we have enough death. Mm-hmm. Party at the bar. The gremlins are having themselves a great time. And Phoebe Cates is serving them. Yeah, she's like lighting their cigarettes and. What? There's there's the gremlins fuck, playing lady. poker. There's gremlins playing pool. There's one who's smoking three cigarettes at the same time. There's she looks down. There's one that's a flasher, and he's like, yeah. ah, <laughs> like I love that little guy. That's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> um, I want him around at parties. Um, um, why are you serving them? And then eventually the she has out, enough lady. of it, and then she grabs a camera, starts flashing them with the camera, yeah. escapes. Billy saves her. Mm-hmm. Like she gets out. And well, then, he doesn't really save her. He just well, he drives shows up, up, and then he's like, hey, <laughs> all right. Because I think, well, he hits the high beams on the he car. He does, yeah. Because her camera runs yeah, out, and yeah. then he hits the high beams. Mm-hmm. That gets her out the door. They she go gets off. a camera. <laughs> a <laughs> Polaroid <laughs> camera. Is a cell phone without the phone part. You only take pictures with it. Oh, what? Uh-huh. <laughs> Actually, they do have a modernized version of yeah, it. Yeah, I know. That was the dumbest thing I've ever yeah. seen in my life. Because let's all regress yeah. in technology. Mm-hmm. And then... We get one of the most what the fuck moments out of left field moments in maybe <laughs> film history. And one of the things this movie's famous for, I think. It's my favorite scene in the movie. I'm not um, kidding. Besides the gremlins and, and Gizmo mm-hmm. and the whole don't feed them after midnight thing, mm-hmm. people were remembering gremlins for this story. Yep. So he, so again, she's like, oh, well, fuck Christmas. This is why Christmas sucks. And then he, and, and then he, and then she brings like, up a valid fucking point, though. <laughs> She's like, oh, you say you don't like Thanksgiving or you don't like Halloween. No one bats an eye. But you say you don't like Christmas. Everyone looks at you like you've, there's something wrong with you. She's, She's not wrong. valid fucking point. She's absolutely yeah, not wrong. That Christmas is, is one of those right. things where just like, well, I don't like Christmas. Yeah. The fuck, the fuck is wrong like with Christmas? you? Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, it's, some people, it's just a fucking day, man. 
Well, I mean, it is it is just a day for yeah. some people. That's just, exactly that's how religion works. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> so she, but so he's banging on like, I just can't believe you don't like Christmas. Yeah. Why don't you like Christmas? And then she pre- proceeds to tell this story about her father, which I unfortunately found funny. <laughs> well, that just I'm, I've to got you. a weird I got a weird sense of humor. So she and said, it just seemed hilarious to it's me. Christmas Eve, I was nine. Mm-hmm. We were waiting for my dad to get home to open presents. And he just never showed up. Yeah. So Christmas came and it went. And for days after, we didn't know where my dad went. Called the police. And then eventually we got a... There was a stench. I went to light a fire. <laughs> I went to light a fire. And I noticed the smell. Sti- I noticed, I noticed the, smell. the stench. In, yeah. And then we said, well, maybe like an animal, a raccoon, got caught in the <laughs> in the chimney. Yeah. It was my father. Mm. <gasps> Apparently, he dressed like Santa Claus to surprise us with presents on Christmas Eve. He broke his neck. Died, died instantly. Died instantly. <laughs> At least he died instantly. Jeez. <laughs> this comes out of nowhere. But uh, the worst part on top of it, she goes, that's how I found out there's no Santa. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, Jesus. Like, why throw the icing on the yeah. cake there, honey? That's the year I found out there was no Santa Claus. Jeez, because the music <laughs> in the background and the way she's lit. Like to me, it's just fucking I'm like, hilarious. What? It's just such the, a weird thing. Like we already have this movie where these little monsters are running around killing yeah. people, and then out of nowhere, this out of the comes, left of yeah. left field, she just has this, she lays this bomb on him. So, so you still want to go out on Thursday, Billy? <laughs> I do. Tell me more stories. Uh, you're at least a great storyteller. Um, so yeah, the studio did not want this scene. No. Steven Spielberg did not want this. Hey, scene. hey. Joe, yeah. I got kids here. Yeah. Like, even Chris, I think after he'd written it, he was like, dude, this might be a bit much. But Joe Dante wanted this in the fucking movie. <laughs> keep it in. And, the Santa story stays. And for some reason, even though Spielberg had final say, he can be the one who's saying, like, yay or nay on everything. It was just like, well, it's Joe's picture. He wants what he wants. <laughs> and let him keep it what? in. What the fuck does Steven Spielberg give a shit about a Santa story? Uh, clearly enough that they had the conversation. No, but he's at the end of the day. He's like, I don't give. <laughs> I got You're asking the wrong guy. I got way too much money coming in, and frankly, one of the movies that is with this one, like coming out, I got a hand in that too. So this is all my shit. Yeah. Um, again, it is my favorite part of the movie. <laughs> it is the best scene in the whole movie because, like you said. No fucking lead up to this whatsoever. He just drops his bomb about, oh yeah, my dad totally died like, in like one of the most horrific ways yeah, you can possibly there is think of. There many, many other reasons she could hate Christmas. Fucking a thousand other reasons like, she could hate Christmas. This woman should be in an asylum. Yeah. <laughs> that would have broken a child. Yeah. Like, may- well, maybe that is what happened. Maybe that's why she served the fucking gremlins. She To them, they're real. Yeah. Like, they- to them, that's what everybody looks like. Yeah. She's clearly on all of the medications to deal with what just happened. So, to her, they're just really horrible bar patrons you know oh that one guy flashed me a month but you've been to a bar most of them are gremlins they kind of are especially certain kind of bars yeah not naming names here (laughs) ruby tuesdays (laughs) um yeah don't don't feed those people up their midnight either no um so yeah after that magnificent story thanks Mm -hmm. merry christmas everybody uh we see the gremlins the town is quiet a little Mm -hmm. too quiet yes and we find out literally every gremlin Mm-hmm. is at the movies watching Snow White yep. and are just loving every minute of it. They're doing the hi-ho, Which is weird because they started the movie at reel four. So. Yeah. I'm like, guys, you know there's more, right? There's no, like gotta four get, reels gotta get at to least. That, gotta get to that song. Well, that song is pretty dope. You know, and they and they like music. It's, it's established that Gremlins and the Mark yeah. White like music. My question is, though, how can they look at the screen? It's very bright. Uh, I know I a know. couple of them are wearing sunglasses, so that might work, but... It's a bright screen, especially yeah. a cartoon, is the brightest of bright screens. It might just be a dimly lit film, I don't and know. And, when the fucking film cuts, and it's just light reflected yeah. on the screen, that should bother them. Uh, they go into, I guess, the basement of it? Mm-hmm. Fuck with the boiler. Well, he says, like, where's the boiler? Yeah. And apparently she knows, because she works in a bar. I don't know um, how that connects. Ties a cloth to it, mm-hmm. lights the fire, goes, hey, fuck you, cuts the movie, hey, fuck all of you, come yeah. follow me. Comes running out, whole fucking theater goes kaboom. The most unlucky theater in all of the world. I mean, they blew it up now, mm-hmm. and in a year, Marty McFly is going to drive 
the fucking DeLorean into it. <laughs> Is that the same theater? It's the 